So Mary, you're going to go to light up night. It's always fun. Oh, it is always fun. It's always so busy, but I definitely try to go every year and I know, but I feel like we might have warm weather because it's been so mild for us this month already. We've had snowy ones. We've had cold ones. So Maybe it'll be just seasonable where we should be this time of the year and we've had above average temperatures for a while and we still have them, but it's going to feel a little bit more like fall a little bit cooler out there right now. Zelian Opal, you're already down to 36 degrees, 42 in Butler, 43 in Franklin, 40 Newcastle and we're at 42 Catanning, 46 right now in Connellsville and Franklin, you're at 48 degrees. So it is about 20 degrees colder from this time yesterday and temperatures are going to continue to fall through overnight where we could have some areas again upper 30s low 40s and even some patchy fog early tomorrow morning so just keep in mind to give yourself some extra time as you're heading out the door but you're also going to need a light jacket when you're heading out especially for the kids at the bus stop there will be a little bite in the air a little bit of patchy frost even possible as well so we will have a lot of sunshine around for our Friday it looks fantastic high pressure builds in yes it is dry and we certainly need the rain but then we do see some rain this weekend it's going to be on Sunday. Now, early in the morning on Sunday, we'll start off as some light showers and then it'll pick up in intensity through the day. We'll also have some heavy downpours and we need those heavier downpours, but it needs to be at a steady pace so that the soil can soak it all up and it can help out our drought situation even just a little bit. We'll take whatever rain that we can get. This is going to last through Sunday evening and then we'll also have some scattered showers left over for Veterans Day. So if you're going to any parades early Monday morning, just have the umbrella with you just in case to dodge some raindrops and then after that our next best chance for rain it's going to be Wednesday night into Thursday so our drought monitor map it gets issued every Thursday and we're seeing drought conditions worsen so we are seeing extreme drought conditions Washington Westmoreland County also now severe drought conditions into southern parts of Allegheny County also dipping into southern parts of Beaver County and that is why much of the region is under a drought watch so preserve water where you can the warmer weather not helping to too much and we're staying above average. Check this out all the way through November 21st as we get closer to Thanksgiving tonight. 40 degrees, mostly clear with patchy fog. Looking at our seven day forecast, 60 degrees Saturday, soggy Sunday. Temperatures in the 60s, lows in the upper 30s, low 40s. 60 for Veterans Day, 57 on Tuesday, mostly cloudy. We're in the low 60s on Wednesday, still a little bit closer to average there Thursday with the chance for showers and a high of 56.